Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. Oh, honey, it is high out here. Okay, so I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day wherever you are. And if not, no, it's going to get better once your perception gets better. And so today's video, okay, as I was walking, I was thinking about how a few days ago, okay, this, this is one of the things which you have to understand, okay, that we all pretty much go through the same exact thing, all right, the same exact obstacles or whatever it is. And what makes us different is us wanting more, is us wanting better. And when you start being sick and tired of your life going the way that it's going, I guarantee you, you're going to start radical action. You're going to start doing things different. You're going to start doing things that people may ask you like, you know, what the hell are you doing? And some people who isn't going to get it, they're not going to understand it, but that's okay. So a few days ago, right, my, actually my youngest children, because I was like, you know, when, where did this come from? So my youngest children, um, they stayed home with me um, instead of going to the father house over the weekend, right? And so from Sunday to Monday, I'm trying to see the days, and I think on Tuesday, I had um, went out to the park and got wet and stuff. Well, on Wednesday and Wednesday, and then Thursday, right? Thursday, I had went for a walk. But one of the things that I noticed was I was feeling different, right? And it was because you know if you stay in a house all day that's what's gonna become your reality okay so you may be shy and and shy is equivalent to insecure okay if you like oh i'm a you a shy person it really means you are insecure okay and so i said you know what last night and it was a part of me that was like no don't go outside, just stay in the house another day. And it was this eagerness that was saying for me to come outside, right? For me to for me to go outside. And so I had put some clothes on and I went for a walk, right? And I noticed it was at times I didn't really want to make eye contact, <laughs> right? And I tell you guys this all the time, okay? Whenever you are aware of the things that you're doing and you start realizing, you know, for instance, say if you are depressed, it's not for you to beat yourself up and say, damn, you know, you shouldn't be depressed or whatever because whatever you suppress is going to persist. It's, it's going to happen more and more and it's going to get stronger and stronger. So sometimes in life, you have to just say, you know what, I'm growing through this, okay? And I tell you guys all the time, I don't claim anything um, that is not, that is not um, in my favor, okay? Be mindful of your tongue. And so what happened was, I went out last night, or went, went out, I think it was like five o'clock, I had went out and I started walking. You gotta understand and get, you have the ability, now where this story? You have the ability to control your life, right? By what you do and how you are showing up. But if your whole perception is, things never work for you. I need for you to start asking yourself this question. Why do you believe things never work for you? Why I need somebody to answer that. Why why do you believe things never work for you? And it could be somebody that's saying, well, because of because of their lives, right? 
But you the one that's creating your life. <laughs> you the you the one that's creating it. Hold on, family. Hey Tam. Yeah. Okay. What is the um the lease you can take out? Like the bills? Twenty ten. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay. All right, hold on for me one second. Hopefully it is. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. Okay. So I told you guys every week, right? Like I was budgeting because, you know, um, it's important that you budget your money. And I never thought I would be one who would be saying this, right? Like budgeting your money and stuff like that. Cause, but anywho, um, when you want different and you drastic about, when you serious about change, you're gonna do something different. You're not gonna keep doing the same exact thing. Okay, because it's like you be sick and tired of getting the same exact results. And one of the things that I told myself, I said, listen, Dina, listen, okay. Getting a job or an increase of money, that's not that's not the solution. Okay, now that's that's gonna happen, but that's not the solution. The solution is for you to start budgeting the money that you have now, okay? And so I start thinking, right? And and then I started implementing it, okay? And let me tell you one god darn thing. Let me let me just say this, okay? Let me just say this. It does not matter how many times you have to start over, okay? It does not stop thinking about things that done happen and you saying, well, damn, I, I did this before or I tried that thing before. You tried it before, okay? And just because you didn't succeed those times, if you constantly focus on, on well, you didn't succeed, you failed those other five or ten times, guess what that's where your energy is going and that's what that's what you are going to get more and more each and every day okay because that's where your energy is going say for instance your health oh this this was another thing this this is another thing okay this is why i started working out again okay one day, now this video is very goddamn transparent. One day I was walking, right, to ShopRite. And normally when I'm going to like ShopRite, like, you know, not too far from where I live, I would normally walk, okay? And it's probably about, ooh, I don't, I don't know, like probably about 15 blocks. And I would walk. And so on this one particular day, right I noticed I started being winded okay and I said wait hold the hell up okay and I started thinking all types of things maybe it's because of the meat I'm eating right so I started thinking all these different things and what I decided was Dina this is your life you have the ability to change it okay and so what i did was 
I had start walking, okay, and I started working out. No one is going to be able to change your life or, or fix your life because this is your goddamn life. Also, if you see things keep on showing up, they keep showing up, keep showing up. Maybe relationships, right? You keep on going through stuff in your relationships. It's for you to start taking accountability. Yesterday, you know, it's funny because if we start blaming people for where we are or blaming whoever, whomever for the things that we are getting from life, more of that is going to keep showing up. But when you start taking accountability, and I mean like seriously taking accountability, your life is going to start changing. You got to get and understand you are the creator of your reality. Now, if you think it's somebody else that's pulling the goddamn strings, then you're going to have to wait until that person finished pulling the goddamn strings. And honey, you could be... You could be dead and gone, <laughs> okay? You could you could be dead and gone. But you got to understand, you have the ability to change it. So yesterday, I was, um, ooh. Yesterday, I was doing a, a video. Well, I did a video, and I had posted it on TikTok, right? And it was about Section 8. And that video is on my YouTube page, um, Section 8. Um, I think is Poverty Mindset or something like that. But anywho, so I did a video. And it was this guy who was writing, sending me all these like comments up under the video. And one of the things he started talking about was the government and... Um, you know, because in the beginning of the video, I pretty much was saying like, you know, people think that people that's on Section 8, they think that they just want to get high, drink all day, you know, just a negative perception, right? And this guy, he was saying, he was like, you know, that money is pretty much owed to you because of the government and, you know, all these different things. And you know, they took land from us. And, you know, let me tell you about that, okay? In some cases, it's, it's true, right? Most cases, it's true. But as long as you are saying, the government did this, the government did that, as long as you are focusing on what the government did, guess where your life is? Guess, guess what's going to change in your life? Nothing. 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 Because you are basically saying your life can't change until the government pay back reparations or whatever. And I don't think, <laughs> I don't, it don't look like any reparations is going to happen. Okay. So you, you have one or two options. You can keep complaining about your life. Yes, yes, okay. Or you can say, you know what? I deserve better, okay? You can't keep, and, 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 and then there's some people, they keep on doing the same thing. And, you know, by any means, I'm not perfect, okay? I'm, I'm not perfect. But it's some people that keep on saying, could you please pray for me? But keep on doing the same exact thing. You got to start understanding that if you keep on doing the same, you're going to get the damn same. Okay? Like when I was in the, in, the, in the room, in my apartment, in the room, and I had this urge. Dina, go out. Because normally every morning I go for a walk. Okay? Every morning I normally go for a walk or probably in the evening. So I normally go for a walk for the day. Right? Or sometimes two times a day. It depends. And I had a choice, okay, to, to stay. You have a choice to focus on what's working for you and then get more of that, okay, or focus what's not working 
for you and get and, and, and keep getting more of that but whichever way the choice is yours okay and with that being said honey i gotta finish listening to my main man bob proctor okay i'll catch you guys later make sure you're rocking out believing in yourself peace